Hey, my name is Kimberly and I'm from Zonguru. Today I'm putting two product research tools head to head to see which delivers the best product results. Um, the two tools I'm looking at are Jungle Scout's Opportunity Finder and Zonguru's Niche Finder. So we'll start back at Jungle Scout. This is what the Opportunity Finder looks like. Um, I'm going to be using conditions that I'd normally, well, the filters I'd normally use when searching for a product. So United States, I'm looking at home and kitchen, kitchen and dining and pet supplies for my categories. Um, I like my average monthly price to be above $25 just to make sure that there's enough um, margin there. These sliders are really fiddly. Um, monthly search volume above 6,000. I think near enough is going to have to be good enough with these slider bars. The other thing that I usually look at is reviews below an average of 500, just to know that um, you know I'm not entering a really competitive category. I don't have that filter option here. These are the only ones that I've that I can use, so I have to rely on the competition score, which I'll, I'll run at medium. Um, I'm not sure how exactly that's calculated, but I'm going to have to trust in the process. We'll exclude top brands, click search, and see what we come up with down here. Um, okay, 139 results for those filters. So the information that it's given me is the niche, uh, the category, and then a really basic broad overview of the niche. Um, so I'm just scrolling down to see any that jump out is possible opportunities. I don't know what a lot of the, these are. Um, so if I click on the niche, it does expand and give me more information about its seasonality and you know, average units sold over time, which is cool, but I still don't know what it is. I have to open up an Amazon um, search window to actually see it. Okay, so definitely not a category I want to go into. I'm not sure why that's in kitchen and dining. Um, so we'll keep going, drink works same sort of thing, another tab open. I can see how this would become overwhelming very quickly as you're flicking back and forward between the, that looks like a brand. I'm not sure why that has come up on if I've excluded brands. Swamp cooler, another tab open. Okay, definitely not interested in that one. Okay, where's, okay, melon wine plates. I know what that is. Um, the price point suits, high search volume, low competition. So this could potentially be a category. I, I can't see if there's any room for differentiation again. Have to open another tab up and have a look at the competition. Um, I also can't save this to my favorites or um, send it to another tool. So again, opening up another another tab and adding it manually to another tool set here, which is pretty annoying. Um, so let's switch over to Zonguru. Um, so I've pre-selected the three categories I'm interested in. Uh, and over here, you can see that there's a lot more filter options, which is really cool. I've plugged in the three main ones that I'm concerned with for this test, but I could also use things like what's my launch budget, what PPC bid am I wanting to look at. There's heaps of really cool stuff um, over here to use if you really wanted to create a custom search. That's really cool. Okay, so this is what the result the results look like. Candy dispenser, that sounds interesting. Um, so straight away, I can see what I'm looking at. I haven't had to open up another tab and I've got a lot more information here. So straight away, I can validate or disqualify a product a lot quicker. That's gonna be a big time saver. So I've got all the standard things, you know, search volume, average sales, but I've also got things like the average listing strength. So would I be going up against someone with enhanced brand content, videos, that sort of thing? The lower this score, the better. So I'd like that that's for launch budget. Is that in my range? Am I going to waste my time by delving into something that is way outside of my budget? I really like this one. Um, and that's cool. Uh, or touch activated. That could be really good for COVID. So ability to differentiate. A lot of these are your old manual style. I, I quite like that. Um, I could open that up and obviously have a look at the listing. I can um, favorite it. I could send it to another tool. So if I wanted to 
send it to easy source maybe see if there's a supplier out there that is making something like this that's really cool okay let's keep going what else have we got marble tray another good one I can see straight away that um, you know adding that those gold handles really makes that pop off the page different shapes that's another one good there's the melamine dinnerware sets again difference being that I can see straight away what the competition looks like without having to flick through another tab um, the listing strength uh, PPC bid price uh, the, there's so much more information here so that's really cool and the number of results let's have a look so there's 50 per load just see it's to keep going so we're already past the amount that Jungle Scout listed and it just looks like it's going to keep going so definitely a lot more results um, yeah that's really interesting a lot more results cheese board and the quality of results seems to be consistent even down this far um, yeah still going yeah cool so I definitely find the Zonguru tool set more user-friendly definitely more results and better quality results 